My name is Ralph Weber, for those of you that, that don't know me. I left Canada seven years ago after my wife was, she basically couldn't walk after two and a half year wait for surgery. Her, her toe, her foot totally deteriorated. She needed a bunionectomy. She now has a titanium toe, which she uses frequently. <laughs> um, sets it off at the airport, that's, that's what I'm talking about now. So, um, but because of that weight, and, and my son, who some of you have met, is six foot seven. He was prohibited from playing basketball in Canada because he was too tall and he had an unfair advantage. Okay? Um, he was hit by a car, his head went through the windshield. He was unconscious for three minutes, taken to the hospital, given an x ray after a three hour wait on a gurney in the hallway, given six stitches and discharged. Nothing's broken. CT just wasn't available. You know, it just. You know, that's it. So that's why I left Canada, and I've been fighting the healthcare battle ever since, actually even before I was. Um, although I am originally Canadian, I grew up in Thailand, Nepal, and Germany. I didn't grow up in, in North America. Uh, after, you know, seven years ago when I originally came to Calif moved to California, they were trying to pass a single payer bill. So I started speaking out against single payer, and I started explaining how it really is. Uh, I ended up uh, writing Rudy Giuliani's health care reform policy after being in a debate with him, or not a debate, but a uh, health care uh, round table. Uh, when Gingrich came to um, Nashville about seven weeks ago, he asked me to be on his health care round table. So I've been involved in, in the policy of health care for, for many years. The fundamental rights that Canadians don't have and that we're losing very quickly is the fundamental property rights to our own body to our own health, as Jane spoke about uh, in her question to Kathleen Sebelius. Those are the rights that are being taken, our most fundamental property rights. And are there any Canadians in the room? One, Lee, Lee of course. Um, it's a hard thing to understand in Canada, and today Lee and I visited the Procure Proton Cancer Center, you know, a mile and a half down the road, and the president was Canadian and the chief um, what was he? Not the, he wasn't the radiologist. He was a uh, uh, radiation physicist. The radiation physicist. They were both Canadian. Okay. <laughs> and they're running a $160 million facility. $160 million. To put it in perspective, that's one one thousandth of the shares that were sold in Facebook today. Okay. One tenth of a percent. So the impingement on our, on our property rights to our own body are very real and very strong. The response, the way the market is responding right now is through outsourcing. Deloitte has done a study that, that indicates that $599.5 billion per year of medical care will be outsourced by 2017. Okay? Money responds. Money knows the path to follow. Okay? Because we don't have a market. We have the opportunity to create one. We don't have a market. We need to create one. So um, what we're going to talk about tonight in the first half is the problems. Many of the problems. We'll have about 16 minutes for questions after that, a short 15-minute break. And then we'll come back. And the second half, we're going to have some, some just as dynamic speakers talking about some of the solutions. Uh, and then we'll have another 18 minutes at the very end. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a really, really excellent, excellent um, program. Now, um, we have the pleasure tonight of uh, having our first speaker, Grace Marie Turner, the president of the Galen Institute, and I'm going to keep my introductions very short so that I cut, don't cut into their time because we're on a tight schedule. 